In this video, we're going to talk about the psychic phase, which is the second phase of the turn. Now, before you cast any psychic powers, you need to make sure that you have units in your army that are psychers, and then you need to choose your powers. In order to do this, you'll need your codex. Not this codex, though, because they don't cast psychic powers. So, once you've determined what units in your army are psychers and which ones you want to field in your battle, then you want to know how many powers they can cast. You can see that on the data sheet for that unit. Some will say cast one, some will say cast two, and on rare occasions, some psychers can cast even three powers. But oftentimes, they know more powers than they can cast in any one turn. But we'll talk more about that in some of the more advanced videos. Today, I'm going to give you an example of casting the Smite Psychic Power. Smite is known by all of the Psychers in the game, and so if you have a Psyker, you can cast Smite. Now when you cast a Psychic Power, you have to roll 2d6 and add the results of those dice together to figure out if you have cast the power successfully. In order to cast successfully, the sum of those dice has to be greater than the power level of the Psychic Power. Smite has a power level of 5, so your sum has to be greater than 5. Greater than or equal to, actually. Now, there are a couple of outliers, though. There's two results that can cause damage to your Psyker. That's called Perils of the Warp. So when you roll your 2d6, if the results are either double 1s or double 6s, then your Psyker perils. And that means they take d3 mortal wounds as damage because they thought too hard. So if you roll double ones, you always fail your psychic power regardless of the power rate. If you roll double sixes though, you might still cast the power successfully. And in the case of smite, it's actually more powerful. But you only get to cast that power if your psyker survives the damage from the perils. So roll your d6, divide the number by two, and that is how much damage your Psyker takes. But if you successfully roll higher than your power level and your Psyker doesn't die from the perils, then you have cast a Psychic Power. And that is the Psychic Phase. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Was that a real cut or are you just with me? That was so loud and you have neighbors. Okay. She's like actively crying. That was the tape measure. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to catch us doing live content, you can find us on Twitch at Roundabout TV.